Hi everybody, welcome back to a Glittery Life. I just have a quick short video for you today on the brand new NARS contour blushes. But before I start that, I know you're probably wondering what in the world is she wearing on her lips? Well, I am wearing Lime Crime in Gerania, Geradium. Yeah, Geradium, I think is how it's pronounced. It is this like amazing, like poppy, corally pink. I love it, I think it's like so pretty, it's really fun. I got it last year and I didn't really wear it very much. I don't know why, I think I kind of forgot about it. But now that it's spring, I am super happy to have it back on my lips. So I hope you guys like it. Okay, now on to the new NARS contour blushes. Okay, I, first off, sorry that I haven't shown you these earlier. I was kind of in the process of depotting them and then got hung up and wanted to show them to you all depotted instead of like, kind of in process so I have them right here this is in my let's see if I can get this without a glare this is in my view set palette and these are amazing you can find view set um, on Instagram and I'll kind of link their stuff down below I can't remember the name of this palette so I will link it down below as well um, okay so I've got Olympia Paloma and I don't know how to pronounce this like Jenna Jenna I think Jenna maybe and then I've got Baritz right down here at the end which is actually like an eyeshadow but I love it as a highlight and so I'm gonna swatch all these for you but I wanted you to see kind of in my palette it's sorry I can't, it's hard to not have the glare on that but I will um, show them to you have you guys tried these out are you excited about them what tell me what you're thinking in the comments down below okay so first I'm going to sw swatch Olympia for you Okay, that's the highlight for Olympia. It's very white. And that's the, sorry about my Band-Aid, contour blush. I don't know if you can see, you can, I know you probably can't see that on my finger because it's very like flesh toned for me. Um, this would be like a very subtle contour if you are very fair. Um, I'm having a really hard time getting a good swatch off this. Sorry. I'm trying to use my ring finger because that band-aid. Okay, so you can see there's the highlight. There's the contour. Once again, this is in Olympia. Very fair. I, I think the highlight is really pretty. Um, it does swatch a little bit powdery though. Uh, the contour is nice and I actually probably would not use that as a contour color. I might use that more as a blush. Um, especially with one of the NARS multiples. Like this would look really pretty with Malibu or Nepali. Uh, just to kind of give it some like more dimension. Okay, next is Paloma, which is actually probably my favorite of the three and probably the best for my skin tone. Okay, so can you see that? There's the highlight, and then there is the contour blush. And you, you can tell that you're going to get a really nice bronze contour out of that one. That would actually be, I'm just looking down at that, that would actually be a really pretty, like, all over the face, like, bronzer. Uh, especially in the summertime when you really, like, can pull off, like, a dark bronzer. But really pretty highlight, very subtle. Um, almost more like a, to me, like a creamy, like a matte shadow and cream. So those are, that is Paloma. Okay, and number three, on to Jenna, which is the darkest one. So you can see that the highlight for Jenna would actually be um, like a probably setting powder for me. That's like what that color is. That's, But if you have very dark skin, that's going to be a great highlighter. And for a contour, it is difficult sometimes to find a contour for a darker skin tone. And I think that is actually going to be a really nice one. Now, I got these not necessarily for my everyday use. I really got these for my pro kit um, because, you know, when you're on a job and you're doing makeup, you actually really need a wide variety of powders either bronzers setting powders contour colors highlights for skin tone and i feel like this product is sort of versatile in the sense of it could be a very like taupey brown blush it could be a setting powder it could be a bronzer it could be a highlighter i mean you just have kind of a lot of different options with playing with these especially if you're a pro sorry that my hair gets all like ratted sometimes i really have not done much to it yet today um, but especially if you, if, especially if you're a pro and you have a pro kit, um, I would highly recommend these. If you're looking at these for yourself, um, I would go swatch them first before buying them. I wouldn't, I would not have bought these online because I probably actually would have leaned towards buying Olympia and that's actually too fair for me. So Paloma 
is a better match for me. But I actually really, really like Jenna um, for a bronzer and like kind of a deep, deep contour on a, on a darker skin tone. So anyway, that's what I think about the NARS contour blushes and those are swatches. So as always, if you can't find those anywhere near you, the NARS store on Melrose has those and I will link that information down below. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up this video if it was helpful. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, I would love it if you would. And I hope that you have the best day ever. See you guys later.